What's going on YouTube? This is BX Bomber 718 back at you with another video unboxing. And today we have the Lenovo Legion 5. I'm so excited to unbox this particular laptop. And as always, as you can see, I always get the matching accessories to go with the computer. Um, but I've been looking for a computer uh, that I can use out of town that's kind of rugged, something that looks good because I like aesthetics a lot. Um, and this seemed to fit the bill. Now, if you want more information and insight as to what led me to this purchase and the story behind it, check out one of our vlogs that's coming up soon where I'll be diving into that and explaining it to you guys. But today, we're just gonna do an unboxing. So I'm gonna do an unboxing, I'm gonna do an overview, and then from there, give a couple of first impressions and then sign off. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the section below. And we'll take care of that for you, all right? So we're gonna start off first with unboxing these accessories. So as you can see over here, I have the H600 wireless gaming headset. This is the Stingray uh, version, which means the white is the Stingray color. And then it's contrasted by this gray color over here. Uh, right here in the middle is the M600 wireless gaming mouse. It's an ambidextrous mouse, which means it has uh, forward and backward buttons uh, flanking uh, either side of the mouse. Then it has your DPI switcher, your stealth button, and it has your scroll wheel, all right? Now, right below it is another matching accessory. This is the contrast in gray that you see in the other two accessories. And then it also has Legion in white, so a nice little um, change up, right? To kind of keep things interesting in regards to the color scheme, right? And right behind that is the Lenovo Legion 5. We're gonna unpack that. I'm gonna read to you the specs and everything like that, but really excited to get into this, all right? All right, so start first with the H600 wireless gaming headset. All right, so as you can take a look, this is the box right here, okay? All right, it has the Legion branding on the side, which is dope, I really like that. Uh, some details on the bottom. Here on the other side, it says the H600 wireless gaming headset, all right? And then on the back, it gives you some information all right, it says Lenovo, Lenovo Legion H600 wireless gaming headset, 2.4 gigahertz lossless connection, dynamic 50 millimeter drivers, flip to mute mic, 20 hour battery life and breathable memory foam cushion. All right, then it gives you some other details over here on the side. All right, I'm gonna do it here. And if you want to see what those is, you can always pause the video and you can read it for yourself. Let me get it into view here. All right, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this and see what we're working with. Let's move the camera down some. There we go. All right, so if you see, we're greeted with this uh, this sticker, plastic sticker uh, that says Lenovo on it. So we're just gonna slice in there. All right, we're gonna place it down and just use the one finger lift and reveal all right so that's it right there really interesting presentation okay it's a really nice cardboard box that they have in it it's really really interesting um all right so let me go ahead and take this out all right so you can take a gander at it that's it right there again this is the stingray white version this is the side with the Lovo legion logo it says Lenovo right there. This side, it has the logo too. And then it has your microphone right here, flexible microphone. Let me see if it's detachable. No, it is not detachable. But look, it came on. Mm. The moment I tried to detach it, it came on automatically. Uh, also, it has this neat feature. They have a, a headset stand that you can uh, charge, wirelessly charge the headset on. And I'm going to wind up purchasing that if I can find it. Uh, at the top, it says Legion. There it is. All right, and it has this plastic sticker that you can use to peel it off. Uh, but we're not going to do that. Inside, it has your R for right and blue, and your L for left and blue, which is a nice little touch. All right, it feels pretty lightweight. The foam feels good as well. Um, but we're not going to put it on yet. Just wanted to show it to you guys real quick. And let's go into the rest of the box to see what we got going on. Uh, let's see. Mm, I guess it lifts up like this. Very interesting, okay. All right, so looking in the box, we have a plastic bag and there's some additional accessories in here. 
We have a 3.5 millimeter uh, male to male, 3.5 millimeter male uh, stereo cord right here. And then we have a USB type C to USB type A cable right here. So this is if you want to use it in passive mode and connect it directly to a headset port or headphone port. This one is so you can charge a device. All right. Now also over here we have the wireless module right here. Okay. And then there is some manuals and instructions, probably a warranty guide. Let's take a look. Let's see. Yep. Service support warranty. All right. And then we have this user guide. This is what it looks like. All right, and you guys can definitely pause that if you want to see the whole thing yourself. Okay, even gives you instructions on how to clean it. That's very interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and move this over to the side. All right, I'm gonna move all the accessories to the side. Then we're gonna keep this headset out. I'm gonna move it over here, and let's move on to the next item, which is going to be our M600 wireless gaming mouse. Okay, and it says on the front 2.4 gigahertz lossless connection, 200 hour uh, ultra long battery, and DPI up to 16,000. All right. Oop. A little catastrophe over there, I had to control that. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so you see the mouse itself. I never had an ambidextrous mouse before, but I think it'll be cool for gaming. You have two additional buttons on the um, right side. I wanna see how that works because in Halo and in Battlefield 2042, I definitely need a digital button. <laughs> so we'll see how that works out, all right? So at the top, this is what you have. Right on the side again, that really bold Legion logo, which I like, all right? And then over here it says M600 wireless gaming mouse, all right? On the back, it says Lenovo Legion M600 wireless gaming mouse, all right? And here's some additional details, ambidextrous design, claw and palm rest, rapid charging, 10 minutes charging for 10 hours of use by type C. You also have a high low mode polling rate switch for 2.4 gigahertz mode and total control with Legion, Legion accessory control. Then you have some other items on here that gives you some more specifications. Again, I'm not gonna read it all out, but you can definitely pause the video and check it out for yourself. All right. All right, so at the top, we have another sticker here. All right, plastic sticker, keeping everything secured. We're gonna break that. Let's cut that open. All right. Let's open this up. All right, and we're first greeted with a really interesting cord. This must be the charging cable. Again, USB type C to USB type A. All right, let's pull this piece out here. All right, and then we'll present it with the actual mouse itself. Here it is. All right, and that's the wireless module. All right, looks really interesting. Does not look like a a portable or mobile mouse at all. It's like a full-size desktop mouse. All right, so we're taking it out of here. There's the bottom of it, so you can see. All right, again, you see the gray and then the white. Very interesting because the color scheme goes exactly with the laptop. You're gonna see in a second, okay? All right, let's go ahead and pop that out here. All right, there it is. And the wireless, we're gonna pop that out. The wireless module, dongle. All right, and as you can see, that has the gray color on it, which is interesting, okay? All right, and then let's see if we have any, yep, definitely have guides and stuff. Let's see what they, what goodies they gave us with this. All right, so they got, gave us a, a some kind of card stock uh, telling you about the different buttons and Bluetooth and everything like that, DPI switch, right, illumination on and off. And then this here is for connecting it to the computer, okay? All right, then on top of that, we have a service support and warranty. 
And then here, this might be a guide, I guess, on how to set it up, or a safety guide. Um, yeah, it's just telling you how to connect it. Uh, scroll wheel and, and logo LED status. That's what this is here. I'll keep it like this so you guys can read it. All right. Okay, so that's all of the goodies that they gave us. I'm going to put this box aside. I'm going to throw this cord in here. A very high quality cord. And towards the end of it, I'll tell you how much I paid for everything. But I'm going to keep everything together. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the wireless module also for the headset, which happens to be on. I'm going to turn it off. I guess I can press this button to do it. There we go. Okay, so now it's off. Yeah, that was interesting. Okay. All right, so now that's out the way. The next thing we're going to move on to is the uh, Lenovo Legion Control Gaming Mouse Pad Large, right? Has a Legion, bold Legion symbol there as well, or logo. All right, this is a 450 millimeters, which is 17.72 inches by 400 millimeters, which is 15.75 inches. They also have a double XL version that goes uh, wider across, right? This says Lenovo, Lenovo. Uh, Legion Gaming Control, mouse pad, large, gray, technical specifications. There's all the details right there. You can pause it and take a look at that yourself. All right. On this side, it shows the Legion, uh, what it looks like. It's gray, and it has the white Legion, the Stingray, Stingray White Legion logo. Okay, here it says braided. Hold on, let me get that clear. There we go. Braided edges for durability. This says consistent texture for optimal performance. And then this says moderate fri friction for low DPI mouse control. All right. So that's everything on there. All right. So we're going to go ahead and cut this open as well. You can see here is another sticker keeping it secure. Sticker keeping it secure. All right. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open. All right. And let's take this bad boy out. This is probably one of the biggest mouse pads that I've had for just the mouse. You know, not the long rectangular one, but for just the mouse. So as you can see, it has some kind of paper and tape keeping it secure, which is interesting because most other mouse pads that I get don't even have nothing keeping it secure. It just unravels the moment you take it out, right? Slide this off. Well, I thought I could slide it off. I can, but let's. There we go. Wow. And here it is in all its glory. Legion. It's all gray. Let me show you the back. It's rubberized. And then it has the logo, the Lenovo logo at the bottom here. Nice little touch in blue. Even though you won't be able to see it. Um, but it does have blue in the logo uh, here. The Legion logo does have blue down there. All right. Okay, so yeah, this is a huge mouse pad. Um, this is what it looks like with the mouse on it. You can kind of get an idea and see the size of this thing. Okay, all right. All right, so nothing too fancy with that, but I like the fact that um, it matches with the colorway and the color scheme. Now we're going to take out what you've all been waiting for, which is the actual laptop itself. Let's go ahead and unbox that. All right, so I'm going to move all the supplies. I'm going to put them all on this thing. I'm going to move the supplies out the way. Hold it like this. I'm going to move them out the way. We'll bring it back up after we finish unboxing. And let's take a look at the, there it is. The Lenovo Legion 5 in Stingray White. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? All right, let's go. Let's get busy. All right. 
So as you can see, it says Legion right there. L-E-G-I-O-N has the Legion symbol right there in the middle. It says Lenovo here on the right side. Uh, it says Lenovo here at the top. I do like the fact that they included a handle. I think that's pretty neat. Here's the sticker keeping everything sealed. Um, so on this side, I'm not going to show it because it has sensitive information. Um, but this side gives you the sticker with all of the um, specifications. So it says CPU, AMD Ryzen 7 5800 at 3.2 gigahertz. RAM, 16 gigabyte storage, one terabyte SSD. GPU is the RX 6600M. Displays 15.6 inch FHD IPS. Battery is a four cell battery. And it has Windows 11, which I really didn't want, but I mean, you can't avoid that now with any computer, new computer that you buy. They have everything loaded up with Windows 11. So we're going to see how that goes. All right. So that's the sticker on that side. All right. On this side, as you can see, it just simply says Legion. Okay. On the back, it just gives you your battery hazardous material logo right there. All right. And here's the sticker that we're going to cut. So let's go ahead and give you some more space so you can take a look at it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna pull this tab back. We're gonna lift this up. And then we're gonna use the handle to move that out and open, and that should reveal the, ins the innards. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off on the right side, which has the power cord. Okay, and then we have the power brick, a 300 watt power brick. Let's see, this is pretty heavy. And it was in there pretty snug. Here it is right here. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. There we go, this is huge. However, um, 300 watts. As you can see, it says 300 right here. Um, but one thing that I will be using with this, I will, will be using a GAN, a GAN 100 watt um, AC adapter, which is more portable to charge it. And I will also have a power bank battery pack that also pushes out 100 watts as well. So I can charge it on the go without having to bring this hefty thing in a bag. Now, since I'm taking it out of town, I'll pack this in a suitcase, but in my bag, I'll have the 100 watt um, adapter. All right, so this is the power supply. So we're gonna move that over to the side. All right, so now we are greeted with some hard foam. All right, let's pull it out. All right, and before we reveal that, let's look inside, there are some items in here you have a legion um, this is a get started guide okay again you can pause it and take a look at the details yourself if you like there also is a legion sticker which is pretty dope I'm not sure why I'm gonna place that but that's nice to have all right, let's see what else we have in here. We have a, this is a safety, safety information. Okay. All right, and let's see what else we got. We got, oh, another sticker. Look at that. Pretty cool. Reminds me of Razor. All right, so we're gonna put these items um, we can put it back in here. All right, and we're gonna move the box out the way. All right, time for the great reveal. Okay, let's move this up closer so you guys can see it. All right, again, this is hard foam, black hard foam, which is pretty secure. Seems like it gives it a lot of shock protection. Let's go ahead and remove that. Okay. Let's remove the other one. Okay. Now the, the, the unit is upside down, so I'm going to turn it 
the correct way, which is right here. All right, and then it has this protective sleeve on it. Um, feels pretty, pretty good. Like it's not gonna rip very easily. Feels like it does give it a nice little um, anti scratch protection. All right, so let's open this up here and let's pull this out. See what we're working with. Okay, and here we are. We are now greeted with the Lenovo Legion 5. Let's move up a little bit. There it is. And Sting Gray White. All right, let's move this out the way because it's blocking the Legion logo, as you can see. All right, as you can see, the Lenovo logo is back here. And you have the uh, Legion logo over here. All right, and let's open it up. And there's a notch here where the webcam is at that makes it easy to open. All right, and there it is. Shift up so you can see it. Okay, there you go. All right, so now we're greeted with this Legion Ultimate Support. I'm gonna let you guys take a look at it for yourself. So this is in the States that you get a dedicated 24 seven phone or live chat. You do have to register it first, obviously in order to get that. And at the back is blank. There is a keyboard cover, but it looks like it got shifted um, during transport. And as you can see, it's kind of buckled up over here. Um, but let's go ahead and remove that. And now we are greeted with the keyboard, right? Here's the touchpad. Okay, on top we got a 720p webcam. There's a e shutter switch on the uh, right side. We're gonna take a look at the sides in a second. <laughs> the keys, let's see. Very similar to my other Lenovo uh, Yoga uh, 6 13 ALC6 laptop. I love their keyboard, it's nice and springy. Um, it doesn't have a lot of depth going down, but it feels like it does based on the true strike design. Okay, it has a dedicated numpad, which I like. It's a 15.6 inch IPS screen, 165 hertz. It also goes up to 300 nits of brightness. It has Dolby Vision as well, which I think is dope. Okay, and as you can see here, we have the two logos here. All right, Let's zoom in. Okay, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 5000 series sticker and the AMD Radeon graphics sticker. All right, here's a close up of the keyboard and the trackpad. All right, over here we have a e support and a sticker teaching us how to change to the various uh, fan speed modes. All right, and here's the screen right here. That's the screen. All right, let's check out the ports. And let's boot it up and see. All right. All right, so over here on your right side, you have an E shutter switch, which kills the webcam. Um, and then you have a USB type A 3.2 port. And then you have venting on the back. Here you have your ethernet uh, port you have your USB type C uh, you can also do a hundred watt power delivery through here as well you have two USB type uh, two USB type A um, 3.2 you have an HDMI port you have another uh, USB type A port here and then you have your power cord right here and if you look over here let me do it this way all right you see that it actually tells you which each port is if you want to do it at a glance by looking over the lid all right, it gives you those symbols right there so you can see it, which is a nice touch. And the Legion 7, it actually lights up, but I can settle for that, all right? And then on your left side, you have a USB Type-C and a US, uh, excuse me, a USB Type-C, and then you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone and microphone jack, and then there's also another vent over here, okay? 
on the bottom, I'm gonna show it to you, but I'm gonna cover some stuff up. The bottom, you see all of these pre-drilled ventilation holes, which is excellent. Then there's some rubber. As you can see here, it says Legion right there, which is a nice little touch that I really like. And then you see the rubber feet at the bottom, all right? To give you some lift to bring air in. And then flanking, you see, there's a speaker there and there's a speaker over here, all right? All right, so, so far, so good. This looks really nice. Um, haven't really seen too many YouTubers actually bring this out. As you can see, the way, depending on the way the light hits it, this logo uh, right there really just reflects really awesome. Now, there's no lights on the lid, which is good because you can go in stealth mode and just use it without people thinking that, oh, this is a gaming laptop, all right? Again, the notch is here to lift it up again. All right, so, so far the keyboard is good. Uh, the trackpad feels like the other Lenovo trackpad that I have. Um, I find myself using that trackpad a lot. However, with this, you know, I'm gonna be using the mouse with this, right? But let me go ahead and clear everything off so you guys can see all the accessories together. And then we're gonna do a power on and see what it looks like. All right, and we're back. So I have the device plugged in. As you can see, I have the headset right there that's also plugged in, the mouse on the mouse pad right here that's also plugged in. All right, and let's go ahead and uh, give it a boot up and see what happens. All right, as you can see, it has a blue backlight, a backlit keyboard. Let's see how it powers up. All right, there we go. That took some time, but let's see what happens. All right, it's not a lot of backlight bleed, which is respectable. I like that. Hey, okay, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and turn the mouse on. All right. Okay, turn the mouse on. All right, there's your mouse on, powered on, cycling through various colors. All right. And that is the backlit keyboard. I'm going to turn the light out so you can see what it looks like. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U. Or select All right, and there we go. All right, so um, I'm in the Lenovo Vantage software, getting things set up. So far, so good. First impressions, the True Strike keyboard is awesome. Um, the touchpad seems pretty decent. Um, I'm not using it obviously because I have the mouse there. The headset and the mouse are pretty good. Pretty good. I, I threw up Netflix and checked a couple things out and the sound was good. The mouse is very accurate. Uh, no complaints. The only issue I have is that this mouse pad is huge. It takes up an uh, ample amount of space and I just think it's just like completely ridiculous <laughs> that it's this big. Um, I mean, they could have really made it at 300 millimeters or at most 350 millimeters. But yeah, it's just, to me, it's just too big. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do, if I'm going to keep it or not. I like it because it goes with the decor, but we'll see over time. Now, what I wanted to share with you guys was the pricing, right? So I got this build for $1,299.99 directly from the Lenovo website, right? Um, I got substantial amount of discounts off of it because I think it totals over 1700 and I got everything for about 13 something. Um, now also the mouse is just retails for $89.99. I got that for $47. The headset was $69.99. I got it for $60, right? So I got discounts on that. The uh, mouse pad was only $7.99, which was great. Um, but I think it's an excellent value for what you get. Now, also, I do have a set of Crucial Ballistics 32 gigabytes 
of 3200 MHZ so dim RAM that I may install in it so far playing around with it. It's very peppy and responsive. Um, it's going to take me some time. This is my first time using Windows 11 to kind of navigate it and get familiar with it. Uh, but for the most part, it's pretty snappy. I can't complain. Um, I just got to get a hang of where everything is at, get rid of bloatware and all that other stuff. But so far, I mean, the screen is excellent. The keyboard is great. Um, it feels very sturdy, very robust, which I like. Um, it's a little hefty. It's over five pounds, you know, um, but I think that that is a good thing because it, it gives it that robustness. Um, the webcam is, eh, is meh, but I ordered a uh, Lenovo webcam, which should be coming in soon, as well as a Lenovo backpack, which I haven't showed you guys yet. So both of those things I had ordered, uh, waiting for them to come in. I got one from Walmart. Uh, I got one from eBay, all right? So we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna get those two items to kind of round out this package. Um, but for the most part, I'm pretty pretty satisfied and that's my first impression, all right? Now again, if you have any comments, questions, anything, leave it down below. I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. And if you guys would like me to do a follow-up video after using this thing for about a week or two, just let me know, all right? Thank you for watching, peace.